The 10 most ridiculous sculpts currently available at Games Workshop's online store. Number 10. Ravenwing Dark Shroud. This shambling wardrobe has been assembled by the most skilled nine-year-olds in the Manifactoriums of Mars. Constructed from the finest eBay lots, hand-me-downs and bits boxes, the shroud refers to the layers of paint needed to brace this ramshackle creation together. If your little brother presented you with this conversion, you would be within your rights to cave his skull in with a power ball. But because this is an official GW miniature, you must fork out the princely sum of 40 pounds. Number 9. Judith Baruta. During a plague zombie outbreak on Luna, the governor placed all Imperial citizens on lockdown. Junif was only allowed to leave her palace once a day for essential toilet roll and to walk her cyber dog. Unfazed by this edict and crazed by her thirst for battle, Junif constructed a mighty patio with imperial themed decking. This loophole allows her to wage war in the Emperor's name without leaving her house, defying the lockdown. The only thing more frightening on the field of war than her mighty battle platform is her abominable hairdo. 27 pounds, 50 pence. Number seven, salvaged orc mega armor. Centurions follow the creed of the orc. Bigger is better. And what's more powerful than a space marine inside of another space marine? They commonly suffer from low self-esteem and are clearly compensating for something. These middle-aged warriors find it hard to compete with the younger, more handsome space marines. But the joke's on you, because at the ripe age of 40 they finally have enough Imperial credits to don the finest armor the last decade had to offer. But don't tell the missus. A steal at just £47.50. Number 6. Lorgan Grimnar. An ancient space viking so ancient he needs a floating biddy scooter and two guide dogs to safely traverse the local supermarket. Luckily for him, Rebute Gilliman's socialist reforms have afforded him a galaxy-wide bus pass. Grimnar can often be found in a local charity shop prowling for used Tupperware to take back to his great feasting hall on Fenris. 36 pounds. Number six, Jakaro Warrior. Listen here, Caesar. Sling your hook, get your red ass back to the Planet of the Apes where you belong, and take your boyfriend Charlton with you. 10 pounds. But we'll accept bananas as currency. Number 5. Severino Rain. The 15-year-old head of the Twitter RTD platforming squad. He, she, it cannot be discussed further as I am unsure which gender-specific pronoun he, she, it prefers to use. Hashtag GW. Me too. 20 pounds. Number 4 some blokes down the pub. These beard up locals can normally be found in the local weather spoons, tucking into a beer and burger deal, or on Thursday, a reheated curry. Clad in mighty beer gut framing Ben Sherman armor, these louts are unmatched on the battlefield, especially after 10 points of Stella. They like nothing better than to kick the fuck out of unsuspecting four-eyed servitors. GW's price, seven large kebabs for eight Taco Bells. Number three, Castellan Robots. A model that has strutted into the wrong board game. The Iron Giant is piloted by Vin Diesel's singular brain cell. It has a penchant for playing D&D and starring in CGI fest action movies. Constructed in the early 21st century by Asian anime slave labor in the Warner Brother death camps. This Gundam, uh, I mean this robot, costs just £45. Number 2. Scorpius Dune Rider. 
the only model in GW's arsenal retarded enough to give your granddad flashbacks of D-Day. That's if his landing craft was red and constructed from crayon. Dreamt up by drunk tech priests after watching tank chats on YouTube. The price of this airfix set piece is just £45. Number 1. Exorcist. Cathedral or Rhino? Why not choose both? The perfect vehicle for any self-respecting ecclesiarchy member who doesn't want to leave the pulpit unattended. Complete with missile launching battle organ and cloistry headdress, it is the perfect item for the modern preacher on the go. £50. Also, Naked Skull Babies. Did we mention it's piloted by a Catholic priest? Oh shit. Tune in for part two where we discuss filthy xenos. It was only halfway through this epic rant that we even realised that we had not discussed the other races. We look forward to seeing you there. What epic narration will be next? You decide. Comment below. And remember to like, subscribe, and ring that bell.